the Joe Rogan experience. Did you see the new Sonic the Hedgehog Lego sets that were revealed this morning? I saw the headlines in the news, but I actually haven't looked at them yet. I was just in the bathroom, and I wanted to shit as fast as I could so I could come out here and discuss them with you. Well, uh, while you were busy making mud, I looked at each of the sets in detail, and I must say, this is a pretty good Lego product line. Okay, so how many sets are in this Lego theme? So far, there are four sets, and they will be coming out on the 1st of August. Cool, I'm excited already. All right, let's take a look at them. Sure, let's dive into it. Okay, the first set is 76990 Sonic's Speed Sphere Challenge. It's got 292 pieces, will retail for $30, and it has the blue blur himself as well as a moto bug. Wow, this looks quite decent for just 30 bucks. I'm also seeing a lot of new pieces. So you put Sonic inside that transparent blue ball and slam that shit to allow him to blast through the course? That's right. This new blue orb of power is known as a speed sphere. And it lets Sonic roll all over the place, whether it be your desk or on the carpet in your bedroom. Not bad. Not gonna lie, I thought the ball was lame at first. But it actually makes sense in the Sonic universe. In the video games, he literally spins into a ball and rolls through loop D loops and ramps. I approve of this new speed sphere. I'm glad you have an open mind. This theme has a bunch of fresh new ideas that I'm sure you'll like. Super. What's the next set? Next is 76991 Tails Workshop and Tornado Plane. It will retail for $40, and it includes 376 pieces, and you get both Sonic and Tails in this one. I like this. The build for the Tornado Plane looks solid, and I appreciate the build for the Workshop for Tails. I actually remember from watching Sonic X on the Fox Box back in the day that Tails was a pilot and a mechanic. I like how his personality is showcased in this playset. I agree. It's nice that this set is quite different from the rest, and you get some charming side builds to build up the storytelling. I'm also so glad we finally get a Tails minifigure. He is debatably a cooler character than Sonic himself. Oh, for sure. You're going to be happy to find out that he is also in the next set in this series, 76992 Amy's Animal Rescue Island. This set is going to be 50 bucks, contains 388 pieces, and you get a really dense build with plenty of details and playability. Word, this set reminds me of stuff you would typically find in the Lego Friends theme, which is a theme I thoroughly enjoy to this day. Those little animals are so cute. It even features the robotic crab, simply named Crab Meat. I always like mechanical crabs. They're the shit. Me too. I love some of the sets that are primarily targeted to the female demographic. And it's quite clever to make a girl set in this theme. In contrast to many boys sets, where the play features involving bashing and smashing enemies. This set has a focus on taking care of animals, which is extremely wholesome. But Amy is quite the strong, independent young lady, and she's more than capable of bashing the shit out of the baddies, too, if she chooses to. Yes, she's a bad bitch. Girl power! So what was the final set that was revealed? I saved the biggest and best for last. It's 76994 Sonic's Green Hill Zone Loop Challenge. For $100, you get a whopping 802 pieces, and three minifigures are included in this one. Wow! Look at that! That loop is quite impressive. You get some ramps, a bridge, and more importantly, a minifigure of Dr. Eggman. The brick-built figure that was in the Lego Ideas Sonic the Hedgehog set was freaky looking. This is more like it. Cha, dude. He got absolutely butchered in the Lego Ideas set. Fans have been asking for proper minifigures, and Lego totally delivered. I wish the same could be said about the Lego Mario product line. 100%. These sets are much more Lego-like than any of the Super Mario sets, which resemble Duplo more than traditional Lego. Looks like Sega has one up Nintendo when it comes to Lego. I agree. I don't even care for Sonic that much, or his video games for that matter, but these sets got me excited. Perhaps I would get one or two if they go on discount. Did you actually like any of the Sonic video games? I don't. They just don't compare to Super Mario games. I don't mind Sonic 1 and 2, but they aren't nearly as good as any of the original Super Mario games on the NES or SNES. All the other Sonic games were complete shit. Especially Sonic 06 on Xbox 360. That game was clearly rushed in development, unfinished, and it just reeks of putrid anal humidity. Ugh, I know what you mean. Many Sega games don't have that same level of quality as Nintendo games. Nintendo is definitely where it's at. Sega Genesis!